to the Coco channel. Today I promised you guys I would do a full review and swatches on the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon palette. I did a tutorial with this palette. If you missed it, I will link it down below. Um, I did a very dark, dramatic kind of look. Um, also, a tutorial for this look will be up later on this week if you're interested in that. Um, I didn't use this palette, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started with the palette. This is the outside packaging. It is a metal um, packaging. You do have the raised hearts and lettering. Um, so on the inside, you do have 16 colors. You do get a pretty decent sized mirror. Um, it is like cardboard on the inside, like this is all cardboard. Um, I haven't even taken the plastic off of my mirror because I like to keep it on because I'm a freak. Um, but you do have that cocoa smell, of course. It's not as strong as the chocolate bars, in my opinion. I don't own them, but I have swatched them and I do have a few friends that own them. Um, so. It doesn't smell as strong to me and of course you're not going to smell it when you're putting it like on your eyes and you're like going throughout the day it's not like you can smell the cocoa it's not overpowering or anything like that so um, we're gonna go ahead and move in to the swatches I'm gonna go row by row um, so we're gonna start off here in the first row okay so starting on the first row right here we have almond truffle which is a matte you have cashew chew which in the palette looks matte but it actually has more of a sheen to it so i would call it a satin and then you have dark truffle which is a shimmer um i'm getting dark truffle all on the side um which is a beautiful shimmer so those are like your neutral colors and so let's move on into the next row okay so I went to the second row including the big one um, starting at the top you have pecan praline which is a matte it's very pretty like taupe color um, you have cotton candy which is a bright pink shimmer and then satin sheets which is a almost duochrome um, white gold and satin sheets is one of my favorite colors it is in my boudoir palette so um, I really really like that color so moving on into the next row so you have totally fetch which is the bright pink and I did use that color in my tutorial if you're interested it is the coolest color it has like a blue reflect to it it's almost like a duochrome again um, and then you have cafe Aulat, um, Aulate. I don't know how you say that um, but it's a really cool um, again it looks like a taupe but it is a shimmer so it's a beautiful color though I absolutely love that color um, moving on into this row right here so at the top you have Earl Grey, which in the palette looks just like a gray, but once you swatch it, you can see it has like a turquoise reflect to it. Next we have Bordeaux, um, which is a matte brown color. And then at the bottom you do have Sprinkles, which again is almost like a duochrome. It has pink and then a white gold reflect to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Um... I did use Earl Grey again in my tutorial if you're interested. Moving into the next row. Okay, so starting at the top, it is very similar to my skin color, so it's not going to pick up super well. But this is Divinity, which is perfect for cleaning up anything. You can use it as a base color. I use it to clean up my eyebrow if you're doing anything dramatic. Next is a... Uh, sorry, this is a matte white uh, cream color. And then moving on is Mocha, which is a matte brown color you get the color from the name mocha um, and then the last color on the bottom is molasses chip which is a beautiful copper um, shimmer color so you have a really great array of shimmers mattes you have like some um, duochromes in here and then the very last row these two right here so the last two, you have black currant on the top, and then you do have um, malted on the bottom. Molasses chip is a beautiful color. It looks black in the pan with some purple and gold uh, sparkles, but as you can see, it's also a very duochrome color. You do get that purple flashback from it, even though it is a black base. And then malted is a matte brown um, with a little bit of gray undertones, so it's really pretty. Um, 
So that is the swatches of the palette, my overall review after using this a couple of times and swatching it for you guys is, it is definitely 5 out of 5 stars. I love Too Faced so much, but I would have no problem telling you guys if something was good or not. Um, for 16 shadows, this does retail for 40 is it 49 dollars i believe um but i do want to let you guys know if you have never bought anything from hsn or if you have a friend or a parent that has never purchased anything from hsn you do have the coupon code to get 20 dollars off but I want to prepare you that you do need to have patience because it did take a while to ship. Again, I've said this story so many times. I woke up at 3 a.m. to order this bad boy and I did want to save the $20 off, but I kind of paid for it in the long run by waiting so long. I wanted to be one of the very first people to get this, to get my review up, and because I'm such a huge fan of Too Faced and I was so excited for this palette. So. Again, five out of five stars. You have your cool tones, you have warm tones, you have pops of color, you have shimmers, you have mattes, you have duochromes, you have anything you need to make any look. You could do a very dramatic look, you could very, do a very neutral look, you could do pops of color, you could do anything you wanted. You do have some colors in here that came back that are in other palettes, you do have new colors. So I honestly think I would have even, I really would have even paid the $49 for this. Um, I only ended up paying $29. Again, I will link all of that down below so you guys can see if you, it's something that is able to work for you if you haven't purchased anything from HSN. Also, please do not forget to use your Ebates. I did get money back on this from Ebates. So I will link everything down below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review and swatch video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more. In the comments down below, let me know what you would like to see review and swatches of. That would help me out a lot um, so I know what you guys want. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!